Hello. Okay, we're going to talk about bouncing back. Okay, so if you are um, thinking about um, how you need to bounce back or you're in the middle of bouncing back, it's probably because you got knocked around a little bit, knocked down. Um, life kind of, you know, gave you, a, gave you the what for and you got to bounce back. And so um, that's what I made this little kit for. Now, the thing I, I want to make sure and say is that um, it's not always as easy as deciding I want to bounce back. But um, having the um, intention and the desire that you want to bounce back is the first step. I mean, that's 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 what's going to get you to a place where you know you can start bouncing back. Is just if you just start saying I'm going to bounce back, I I want to bounce back. Um, and, it, and it's in steps. Now I'm, I'm currently bouncing back from a lot of things. I think all of us are bouncing back from the whole world being shut down and the economy crashing and, <laughs> you know, just the fear of what we've been dealing with in this pandemic. Um, but there's probably a lot of personal things too. I mean, a lot of people lost their businesses, their jobs, or, or chose to change careers or, and a lot of people, once they were put together, um, in quarantine and in lockdown, ended up seeing that they didn't get along so great with people. And so there, there were a lot of um, breakups, you know, and, and a lot of re reorganization of relationships. And so all of that is, um, requires bouncing back. And so what I want you to know and remember is that if you're actively grieving a big loss or you're in a depression or any other kind of mental unwellness, that's not the same as saying, I'm going to buck up and I'm going to bounce back. I mean, it's not the same as willing yourself and saying, you know what, I, I just got to get back on the horse and get going. Grief has its own timeline. And so you just got to be merciful with yourself. Same thing with mental unwellness has its own timeline. All of this stuff's going to help tremendously, but have mercy and grace for yourself. If you're in the middle of a, of a really big episode of um, grief or mental unwellness, um, otherwise, um, you know, it's so much of life is just about decisions. It's just about deciding like, like I'm to the point, I, I let myself cry and um, suffer <laughs> for a couple of years. I'm coming out of it now. And I just, um, I, I let myself take as long as it took to be able to heal from some really big things. But I'm at the point where I'm not trying so hard anymore. I just, it, it just feels like there's been a shift. And it's like, I'm just deciding and I'm making the decision. Like I'm going to bounce back. I'm going to bounce back no matter what I'm going to bounce. I'm going to, I'm going to do what I need to do. Um, even though I'm afraid and even though, um, I don't, you know, I, a lot of things are uncertain. I am personally going, I'm making the decision that I'm going to bounce back and I am bouncing back. And so that's, that's all I'm asking you to do is just kind of decide like, yeah, I'm ready to bounce back. I'm ready to, or bounce. And I'm, and by bouncing back, I'm, I'm saying bouncing back to your vitality. You don't have to bounce back to your old life. Cause I'm definitely not doing that because so much of my old life is what, um, knocked me down. And so I can't bounce back into the thing that, <laughs> that, I, that knocked me down so far. And so I'm in the middle of like re, re thinking and revisiting, um, and re, building, reinventing myself and my life and what success looks like to me. And so there's just a lot of stuff I'm bouncing back from. So as you're working through all of this, um, I, I'm just going to show you what I did. You're probably going to come up with some really creative things. And if you're here supporting my work, you probably have already done something like this or you wouldn't be supporting it. You know, I've been doing this kind of stuff for so many years and I'm the one that developed cut and paste journaling. And so I've been doing this for you know, millions and millions of words for, you know, a couple of decades. I know a lot of, of us really enjoy collage and, and kind of the ransom letter sort of look and things like that. This is um, self-inquiry through cutting and pasting. Now, what's I used to have a, a big 
scrapbooking company. I manufactured scrapbooking supplies. And so there were a lot of stickers where you just peel and stick. This is different than that. And I, I, I have thought long and hard because I know how to have stickers manufactured about like, maybe I should take some of these phrases and have them made into stickers. And it's like, no, that's not what this is. The part of the meditative quality of, of this whole therapeutic process is the cutting and the pasting is the long time that it takes because you go into this flow in your brain that gets you to a place where you're accessing yourself and you're down regulating your whole nervous system is down regulating that's one of the things that happens when you're doing these slow activities of cutting and cutting cutting things out meticulously the other thing that happens is you're investing in yourself and it's like making a contract with yourself it's like every time you cut something out with your own hands that you looked at and you chose and then you paste it down it's like making a contract with yourself it really seals things in it's like saying i mean this i made this i cut out every little letter of this word and i pasted it down and i mean this and it, and it helps you to take all of it more seriously Okay, I'm so excited because I am going to show you the finished product. Okay, finished-ish because I did an entire book and so there are a lot of pages in here that I'm going to be able to just keep revisiting over, you know, the next couple of months or whatever. But I used the entire kit between um, these truth cards, which I'll show you in a minute, and this book. So this is from the beautiful little blank books that I have on Amazon. This is the yellow one. And these books are so awesome because they already have beautiful backgrounds and you can just paste stuff in there. And they're in all the colors of the rainbow. They're $15. That's with shipping. You know, you'll, they'll be to you in a couple days from Amazon Prime. Um, and I'll give you guys the link to those, but I love using these because then um, you don't have to, you know, um, paint paint up a book or do backgrounds or anything like that you can get right into the soul work and that's why I created these and I'll be creating a lot more of these with different themes I, I just started out with the colors of the rainbow but I'm just going to go through and read to you what I have so far so this is just I use this from the front of the um of the collage kit and then I just cut it out and put it on there you'll see that in the time lapse um and then I just started gluing things from the collage kit, you know, in the places I wanted them to go. This is actually an image from an old time magazine from like the 1960s that I loved. It's just an Amish woman. And I used my um, cut and paste um, word and letter builder book that has all these letters in it. I actually, just for, oh honey, these are actually the alphabet from this collage kit, this bouncing back collage kit. So I just had her say, and this resilience is also from the collage kit. Oh honey. I've had to bounce back so many times. You you got this. I just loved how, I just love, um, it's happening to me because I just turned 50, how the older ladies are just like, oh my gosh, you got this. Nothing to worry about. Okay, so I am so, um, I'm so adamant about how important it is that if you can, that you put pictures of yourself in your books and your name, or else it just seems like this kind of sterile craft. Once you put your pictures in, it feels really weird at first. It feels like you're kind of like a super self-centered person, but <laughs> it this is soul work that's just for you. It's not for anybody else. And when you put your picture in, it just changes everything. It becomes yours. And how often do you really see yourself anyway? And at, when I started putting my pictures on all of my things, everything became really real. And I, it's like um, what Brene Brown says about um, dehumanizing people. When we dehumanize ourselves and don't see ourselves as people, we can be a lot meaner to ourselves. But we have to look into our own eyes and see ourselves as a person with these beautiful words and these beautiful questions and this beautiful journal. And you start to look at yourself in a different way. And it's just really important. So what I do is I just... Um, you know, take picture selfies or pictures that my husband's taken of me or any pictures people have tagged me in or whatever. And I just put a whole bunch of them on a sheet of paper um, and then just print them out on my, just on regular printer paper in black and white. And it just works out really well. I do them in lots of different sizes so that I can put them on truth cards and in my, in my um, cut and paste books. Okay. So this says I'm ready to truly thrive. 
what do I want to bounce back from? And you'll see that in the um, in the time lapse, you know, how I cut each one of those out of the little black and white alphabet that's in the collage kit. And then it says, I can build a new kind of life, one that suits me. That's in the collage kit too. This um, little speech bubble is in the Word and Letter Builder book. Um, I use that a lot. And then here are, you know, some of the journaling prompts. I answered some of them, but I'll come back and do some later. I put this picture and this is from the collage kit. This bike in this background was already in this book. Um, you'll see this in the um, time lapse, how I did all of this. These, these words that say woman are from the word and letter builder book, but the rest is from the collage kit. The rest of the alphabets. And then this sunshine one, that's in the time lapse. I loved doing this. Super fun. No, this. Sorry, I'm looking at my screen. <laughs> and I'll come back later and answer any um, questions that I pasted down. That's just one of the quotes. I'll come back and um, answer some things. Same with here. This is all ready to just keep working in. All these beautiful backgrounds were already in here. You'll see this one in the time lapse. And then this, these letters are from the um, True Words. That's a different cut and paste book. That's all um, words and alphabets in black and white. It's actually kind of like cream and white. This is just one of the journaling prompts, so I'll be able to come back and fix, um, finish that. These are three journal prompts. I'll come back and finish that. Let's see, I have lots of stuff I can come and do. This, that's what's awesome about these collage kits is they'll, they'll keep it going for a month or two of soul work. This one says, what is going to have to change? Lots of things. And lots of things can stay the same. How I just might surprise people. The thing that surprised me most, another journaling prompt. I put a picture of me in there and there I love this sunflower that's in the back of this, or in, in the backgrounds. This is just a background. I'll put something in here. I don't know what yet. This is the only page I didn't put paste anything to. I just pasted a picture there. And another picture there. Another picture there. So I, um, these, I'll be able to just keep going with this. Like I said, I'm going to add a, a truth card kit that goes with bouncing back. And I think a lot of us are bouncing back, all of us from the crazy things that have happened in the last couple of years, but also just life in general. And so it's something we can work on a lot. So I hope you enjoyed that. And now you can watch the time-lapse and see, you know, kind of how things happened, how I did the um, gold foil and lots of other things. I love you.